In this video, I'll demonstrate how to import the skull that was extracted using 3D Slicer. Using Mesh Mixer, we'll use the import command to open the file created with the 3D Slicer. So first we'll use the inspector function to correct the errors in the 3D model. We'll go to analysis and then inspector. The software will inspect the model for errors and each of the pink pins here represents an error. Then we'll click on auto repair all. If desired, we can reposition the model using the transform tool. It can also be accessed using the shortcut command T. We can turn the skull in this manner using the right click button on the mouse. If we want to reposition the skull in the three dimensional space, we can do so by clicking on the different arrows that appear on the screen. Once satisfied with the position, click accept. Here, the model is quite large. Not only does this make it more difficult to manipulate, but it would also take a very long time to print. We'll therefore decrease the size of the model by removing the anatomic regions that are not relevant. In order to do so, we will have to use the plane cut tool. Using the mouse, click and drag to trace a cutting plane. Then you can determine which side of the plane you want to preserve by clicking on the small blue arrow. The plane orientation can be adjusted as needed. Once you're satisfied with the resultant plane, click Accept. This step will considerably decrease the overall size of the model, facilitating its manipulation. In this example, we're interested primarily in the right orbit. We'll design additional cuts to continue decreasing the model size and isolating the right orbit. As you can see, it becomes easier to manipulate. We remove all structures that will not be useful in our printed model. The smaller the model, the faster it is to print. Before finishing, we'd want to remove all the little floating bones, so we do this using the selection tool. First, you click anywhere on the shape that we want to keep. Then you click on modify and expand to connect it. You can see here the part of the skull to be printed will be shown here in orange. Then you click on modify and invert to isolate the small floating bone fragments that are not connected to our skull. They appear here in orange. Then you click on delete on the keyboard and it removes them. We can then position our model in preparation for 3D printing using the transform tool. Once we're satisfied, click accept. Before exporting the model, we will have to reanalyze for any errors using the inspector function like we did at the beginning. At this stage, if no errors are observed, we are finished and can export the model by clicking on File Export. It can be exported in OBJ format or STL. Here, it's exported as right orbit, corrected for printing.